What is up guys? Welcome back to video three and the final of this onboarding series. In the last video, we created this incredible opt-in. We created it very quickly and we saw how powerful uh, this flow section could be with the options that we have available. We're able to send people emails. We're able to check if they open it. We're able to wait and we're able to check whether they're interested in the product, act upon it, did they purchase the product, do something, upsell them. If not, then tell them, hey, we know that you're interested. Here's a here's an offer or here's something to get you to buy this product. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this type of uh, abilities. And we basically have every option that's available in every other autoresponder. I mean, everything that you're able to do, it's there, it's available, it's ready for you to use it. Um, so we spoke about in the last video, how do we get people to start on this flow? We saw that we included a tag trigger in here that has the, the, the tag opt-in, right? Let's go ahead and let's edit it. It has the tag opt-in. So how do we get people to start on this with landing pages? So let's go ahead and jump into that. So the landing pages is this section down here. And these are just some of the demos that you're going to get after watching, after completing this video right here. But let's go ahead and let's create a new one. Let's see how easy it is as far as the landing pages. Let's check that out. So let's hit new landing page. And we come once again to another drag and drop builder. As you guys can see, we love drag and drop. There's a lot of possibilities uh, in drag and drop. And we're able to release tons of new content right here on this right section for you guys. So it's never stale. We're always in the latest. And that's exactly what we plan on doing. So we're starting off with tons of options, everything that you would basically need to create a landing pages over here. But let's get into some information on, on how to actually create this. So we start off with this template right here. And we have some options right here on the top left section, which is the section settings. We're able to move this section to up or down. We only have one section right now, so that won't do much. But we're also able to change the height dynamically. Check that out. We're able to go 50%, 60%, 75%, 20%. we don't want that to take up the whole page. Or we do want it to take up the whole page, and then they can scroll from section to section. So that's incredible. We're also even able to add a scroll icon. So an icon right here that tells people, hey, you should scroll down because there's more stuff. Okay. For this example, we're going to leave 20%. And we're going to create a very basic landing page right here just to show you guys how to connect to that flow that we previously made. Uh, we have another set of options right here, which are the box settings. We're able to set the background to a light color, a gray, a dark. Maybe we want to set it to this green. That looks great. As you can see, we like the color green. It's in a lot of places here. Uh, we're just going to leave it as a default for now. Actually, we're going to leave it as the light. Okay. Um, no, I feel like leaving it as a default. So we're going to leave it as a default. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down through these options and we're going to look for an opt in. The opt ins are usually at the bottom and we have a couple to choose from here. We have this one with some text, this one with the first name, last name and email here or just this regular one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this regular one on here. And now we see that we have some text up here and we have this opt in. OK, so, so users are going to be able to go to this Web page after we publish it and we'll see that in a second. And they're going to be able to fill in their information and hit submit. But we still have some settings to, to complete here. So I'm going to click inside of the opt-in and I'm going to get this option here to edit it. So I'm going to go ahead and edit uh, the opt-in. And I see that this first option here is tag contacts with. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tag the contacts with opt-in. And they're going to get this tag assigned to them, which is going to start them in the flow that we created in the previous video. Isn't that sick? And now we have this redirect link. So we're going to send them to google.com. We're actually going to send them somewhere else. But th this is basically where they're going to go after we hit submit. What is the text going to say and the color of uh, the text and the background of the button, right? So that's it. That's all we need to do to create a landing page that connects to a flow. We drag in the opt in. We select here that we want to tag them with opt in. And since that tag matches a tag trigger that we created in the flow, they're set. They're good to go. And that's not to say about all the possibilities that we have here with all these things that we could use. I mean, we can't. We, it would be an insult to only use this for an opt in. I mean, you could literally host your website uh, here because of all the things that you could create with this drag and drop builder. And we're going to be releasing tons of content on YouTube and we're going to be uh, hitting you guys up through email and, and sending you this content on what you need to do to create beautiful landing pages. How do you create beautiful landing pages in contact flow? Okay. And, and just one of the things that you're able to do here, just so that we could check it out really quickly is you're able to add its different sections. So check this out. You're able to add a section like this and maybe I don't want it to be this big. So I'm going to go up here. 
going to make it 30%. I'm going to scroll down and you know what? I want this to take up more of the screen, actually less or more like that. I mean, the possibilities are literally endless or maybe I don't even want this section anymore. I'll just take it off right here. Section is gone. So check this out. We have this, this opt-in, uh, this opt-in landing page done here. We include some information up here and then we click save and publish. Okay. And we're going to name it opt-in. We're going to name it anything, but this is the name that's going to show up in the top of the browsers. Then we're going to hit save. And as soon as we hit save, this page is now published. So you have a URL right here that you could send your community to. Okay. And they're going to go ahead and have the page. Here I am. I just went to the link and I see the information it looks exactly how I thought it was going to look. And you know what? I'm actually going to make it full pay full width because I don't like this white section down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here. I'm going to edit that page. I'm going to click on this and click a hundred percent and then I'm going to save an exit. Okay. And I just saved an exit. Now I could go back to my landing page. I'm going to refresh this page and there it is. It's live. Okay. You can make changes to live pages with the same exact link. So you could edit things while, while you spend money on advertising, you, you have your advertising campaign set up that's sending people here and you want to edit something, you could change it without worrying about the link changing or anything of the sort. We're even going to add support later on for you to use your own domain. So it's not going to go to flowlp.com forward slash random characters anymore. You're going to be able to add your own domain here, but this is just the beginning and this is extremely powerful. So check this out. When we go back to the opt-in, people are able to type in their first name here, Joaquin Corrales, email jc at and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click submit. And after I hit submit, I'm going to Google because that's where I redirected it. But if I come back here and I hit flows and I go back into opt-in, oh, it actually wasn't published. I should have published it. Let's see here. Let's see how quickly we could get this going. So we're going to publish this. Make sure all, all steps need to be configured right. Of course they do. Name. Yeah. Let's do this very quickly. We're going to go ahead and we're going to publish this and now we're going to come and we're going to we're going to check this out and see we have one contact in there okay and th the contact that is in there is me because i just signed in through that opt-in uh and it's going to send me through these steps and I'm, it's going to respond to the things that i do and it's extremely powerful and extremely interconnected the entire application flows with itself it goes from one stage to the next and we're able to create these beautiful landing pages and these are the 10 templates that you're going to get right here um the, the final thing that i want to go over in this video is the broadcast like i said so if we go to the template section right here and as a matter of fact not only can you create email templates from the flow section, but you could also come to this area right here and you could create them here. And this is just for creating templates. This is your unique template creating creation area. Now in that template area, you're also able to access the email broadcast. So if you click on this option right here for email broadcast, I have no email broadcast. Great. Let me create one. I'm going to get this here. So who will receive this email and you have advanced segmenting properties. So you could choose has all, which means they need to have the tag LOL and the tag uh, role, right? They need to have these different tags. They need to have all of them for, for you to be able to send out an email to them. And then I'm going to click add and I see that zero contacts have these or I could leave it blank and it includes every single contact. You see that? So here, what I could do is, for example, let's say I want to send an email to everyone that came in from that opt-in, a single email. I would type in opt, suggest opt-in, add it, and see we have one contact. So who is this email coming from? What is the subject? And we're able to personalize the subject lines right here, like it says, by clicking just right here, first name, that's going to include their first name. How are you? And then we're going to come down here, we're going to select from our different templates which one we want to send them. Then we're going to come back up and we're going to either schedule it. Okay. So we could schedule this broadcast. I want to send out this email tomorrow at 10 22 PM, or I want to send it right now. If I click send it right now, it's going to go ahead and it's going to execute this and send the email instantly. So those are landing pages. Those are broadcasts, And those are the main features and just a lot of the things that you could do here in contact flow. And we're, we're, we're in active development at all times. We're always thinking about new ways that we can make this easier for you, that we could improve the user experience, that we could add more value to you and put you guys in a stage where you're able to make more money. Okay. And don't forget guys, 
you have live chat 24 7 okay you hit this option right here you click live chat you're talking to us instantly okay and not only this but this isn't only a system for you okay you could subscribe to contact flow and you could invite your whole team so if you come to this top right section here and you click manage team you could send out 40 invites to your entire company have your entire company on this because they need to be using this okay they need to be doing this type of automation it's powerful it makes you money and there's no reason why you wouldn't use it the ROI is almost instant okay the possibilities are endless uh, this is Joaquin Corrales from contact flow we'll definitely be in touch um, thank you so much for watching